The fox is an animal that has learned to adapt. Take away their forests, they will run through the streets, keeping to their mysterious ways, hiding in abandoned buildings, slipping through fences into backyards and gardens for a quick bite. Has the urban fox earned its keep among us? Urban foxes live in cities where they have learned to adapt and survive. They take refuge in abandoned buildings and in small plots of land that still have a few trees and bushes. They live in any place where they can safely raise their young. At night, the streets come alive with movement from foxes. Foxes are mostly nocturnal, and the urban fox takes advantage of the emptiness that a late night provides. They feed from garbage bins and back porches where people leave food scraps out for them. Urbanization is a form of habitat alteration. Urban ecosystems allow foxes to live among us, having a small amount of vegetation and opportunities to kill rodents to keep them alive. What is an urban fox? Urban foxes are a phenomenon that is a direct result of man's developing the world into a concrete jungle. To survive this new world, foxes have embraced their scavenger behaviors. They have always been opportunistic. Foxes in the wild live short lives, usually only between two to three years. If they make it beyond that, they go on to live a few more. The reason that it is so hard for them to survive in nature is because of the constant threat of predators and natural obstacles. On top of that, human developments have threatened their natural habitats. You might be thinking, but why don't they just move further out? And that can be a complicated answer. Foxes have a very small home range. They stay within seven miles of where they are born. This becomes their territory, where they hunt and breed. While sometimes they can venture out further than their own reaches, they do this with the threat of invading another animal's territory. What do urban foxes eat? Being the opportunistic animals that urban foxes are, what they eat varies greatly. Some foxes will eat from backyards. Some eat out of garbage dumpsters. They will hang around restaurants waiting for them to throw out food scraps. Building their dens in empty lots that are adjacent to places that allow food such as grocery stores and restaurants. Urban foxes eat rodents such as mice and rats and other small mammals. Some large cities like London and New York have huge rodent infestations, which become the new hunting ground for urban foxes. They can have a larger home range too, hunting on the outskirts and returning to the urban cities for the easy access to other types of food. Some people feed urban foxes, leaving them food scraps, sometimes leaving out dog food and cat food. While this seems like a good way to help foxes, it can sometimes cause them to become dependent on humans, and sometimes food like cat food is fattening and not the greatest kind of food for foxes. Urban Foxes in London One of the largest communities of urban foxes is in London, England. The streets of London are full of rodents and opportunities for foxes to scavenge for food. The city is very old and full of places for foxes to hide. Some of the residents in London have even formed a camaraderie with urban foxes. They allow them to feed from their gardens and backyards. They leave food scraps out for them, and oftentimes while feeding a resident fox, they will return to a home at the same time every single night for their food scraps. Not everyone in London is so happy about them feeding from their gardens, either. Others see foxes as pests. They will trash plants and dig up the yard looking for worms and grubs. It's easy to see why some people can be annoyed by their presence. Regardless of how people in London feel about urban foxes, they are not going anywhere anytime soon. They have made quite a community there where they are currently thriving. Urban Foxes Behavior Wild foxes can be very skittish when it comes to interacting with humans. This has not stopped urban foxes from creating bonds with residents who have decided to feed them. While they are very much wild animals, foxes who are fed by humans show a behavior of dependency. Urban foxes need places to breed and raise their young, and very large cities' open land is reducing dramatically. Urban development has spread from cities to towns and even rural areas that were once comprised mostly of open land and are now filled with streets and sidewalks. Urban Foxes Habitat Urban foxes have learned that abandoned buildings and abandoned areas are their best chance to remain hidden, allowing them to continue their survival. They can also be found in populated areas as well, though. Many people will find burrows and dens in their yards or side yards. 
It is not uncommon for foxes to create multiple dens around a neighborhood and move from den to den, moving their kits across yards, neighborhoods, and other fences for safety. Most urban foxes prefer to have some amount of bushes and trees. They are most likely to be found in yards that are wooded or that provide a little bit of privacy. Urban foxes have learned to hide in plain sight. Are urban foxes dangerous? Since foxes are wild animals that hunt and exhibit wild behavior, a lot of people worry that they can be dangerous. People will sometimes report foxes as being dangerous to their pets. While there are some cases where a fox might kill a house pet, like a cat or a small dog, it is extremely rare. Foxes in urban environments mostly hunt and feed on rodents. This is one reason large cities are a place where they can thrive. A fox that has an easy meal like rats and rodents will probably not go through the trouble of fighting and killing a cat or a dog, who will put up a really good fight. Mysteriously enough, they seem to get along in most cases. Foxes are very much like cats and directly related to dogs. This doesn't mean that they will not attack or even eat another canid, though. Pets that are allowed free range are more likely to get killed by automobiles than they are by wild animals. How to keep foxes out for those who wish to keep foxes out of their gardens and backyards, and from having their babies, kits, K-I-T-S, under their houses, there are a few tips that we have put together to make this safe for you and the foxes. Number one, do not feed foxes. You should not feed foxes if you do not want them returning for their meals. It is also a good idea to keep bird feeders from spilling onto the ground. Many of the small mammals that foxes prey on, such as squirrels, are attracted to seeds and bird feed. Number two, close off crawl spaces. You should keep your house secure. Close up open areas and crawl spaces, as well as the skirting around your home. Use chicken wire and meshes to keep them out. The best way to keep foxes out without harming them is to fortify your home. And number three, put up fencing around your yard. If you have to, put fencing up around your yard, but make sure to dig down into the ground and bury some chicken wire or some kind of mesh to keep them from digging under the fence and still getting into your yard. Urban foxes are creatures that just want to survive too. If you have to get rid of foxes, do it humanely and try to do it without harming them. That's it for today. If you found this video interesting, consider liking this video and subscribing to our channel for more awesome fox content. Also, check out our website, allthingsfoxes.com, for awesome fox information as well as fox clothing and other goodies. Until next time.